Hi, and welcome to Coding with Jesse. In this episode, I'm going to add Bootstrap and some basic React code to get my administration area started. So first thing I'm going to do is npm install bootstrap dash dash save. Um, so what I'm going to do, I, I actually haven't tried this before, but I'm going to link in Bootstrap using just a regular import with uh, Webpack. And so let's start with, if I go over to my... I'm rendering just this div right now, hello world. Instead, I want to render an admin area. And I don't have that yet, so I'm going to import it, admin from, and where am I? I'm in JS. So I'm going to make a new new folder called views, or view, let's just call it. And then uh, new file, I'll just make it an index.js inside view. So it'll be the root, the root view. And then, so it'll be view slash, or let's do dot slash view slash index. And that's pretty straightforward. So in here, I need to export default, and then I'll export my view. So I'm going to use a fat arrow function, and I'm going to return a DOM tree, uh, sorry, a, I guess a React component tree immediately. So if I'm in here, let's put, I'm in React. Yeah, you notice the uh, apostrophe breaks my coloring. That is just a problem in my editor, but the code is actually valid here. So I'm going to import, I don't think I have to do, I don't think I have to do anything else. Let's just see how that goes. Uh, React is not defined inside, where? Yeah, okay, so I do have to import React there. New problemo, import React from React. So I have to do that in all my templates, I guess. And now, I'm in React. Cool. So can I import Bootstrap? Well, let's start off by I'll make a container. Actually, let's get the Bootstrap documentation up uh, for, uh, let's just, it's pretty straightforward, so we'll go to the getting started, I guess, is what I'm looking for. Is that what I want? So then they talk about yada, yada, yada. I just want to see a basic template. So basic template is, yeah, they don't have a container. I want to use their uh, container. Oh, uh, what do they call it? Whatever. I want to use the container class. So. Maybe, where's the most basic one? You'd think it'd be somewhere higher. Starter template? Let's try that one. So what do they do in here? They have nav bar. I don't need a nav bar yet. But uh, they have a container. It's just a container. And then some stuff inside it. Cool with me. So let's see. That won't do anything Init uh, that's not mine. initially. But I can already see, I think, if I inspect that, I have a container. So let's import um, bootstrap slash CSS slash bootstrap dot CSS, something like that. And it reloaded and it failed miserably. So it's telling me, I guess it's looking for, I can't find it. So it goes in node modules bootstrap slash C oh okay let's see where it is in that node modules uh, here so bootstrap bootstrap there's so much in here considering I've hardly installed anything uh, it's empty that can't be right let's look in the command line so I see dist I guess that's where it'll be. CSS, so I need the word dist, dist, dist CSS bootstrap. And now if I refresh, it still fails, but for a different reason, it's telling me that style loader doesn't exist. All these errors seem to be about the style loader. So I need to install the style loader, makes sense. npm install save style loader. 
So that style loader was in that uh, config file I copied over in the uh, original. Oh, I'm going to probably need the CSS loader too. So let's just do that right away. So it was in the example config file. They had the style and CSS loader pair. Um, so I'll just install those and that'll let me require in CSS from in my JavaScript code, which seems weird, but Webpack is magic that way. So whenever that's done, then I should be able to reload, or I guess it'll reload automatically with my changes and hopefully bootstrap CSS on the page, but we'll find out uh, in a little bit. So uh, what else? There, that's done. Doesn't do it automatically, but I can, oh, it still doesn't. Oh, maybe I need to stop run the webpack dev server started again. Could that be, could that be, can I resolve module style? Why not? Why not? I thought I installed style loader. Um, is it because I'm in like this folder? No, probably not. Uh, let's just check. Yeah, I guess I installed it inside the bootstrap. So I didn't know that was possible. Let's try it from here because it didn't add it to this list. So it must have, I guess it added it to the bootstrap folder inside node modules when I did npm install, because I thought that was the project I was working on, because it probably just looked for a package.json file. That's not great. I'm gonna think that it's kind of a bug in npm, but who knows? So I don't know why this takes forever, because it already has it cached, I'm sure. Let's refresh. Still doesn't work. Why not? They're in here now, so that's something. Um, oh, maybe I again need to stop and restart this. And who knows, because it's taking forever. Oh, different errors, but that's good, I guess. So now it's complaining that the fonts, I need to load some kind of font loader to get these. Uh, glyph icons and stuff to load. So um, I'm going to Google how to do that. So bootstrap webpack loader fonts. Um, okay, there's a bootstrap webpack. I don't, I think that's overkill. I just need some kind of loader, like a font loader. Is there a font loader? Font awesome loader? No. Um, like a CSS, I think maybe it's called file loader fonts, inlining fonts. I don't want to inline them. I just want it to be able to load them. So maybe inlining, doing the inlining. I don't want them to like, oh, URL loader. Okay. Let's try that. Uh, npm install, save, URL loader, and then I need to make like a rule for all those file extensions to use the URL loader. In, so it'd be like test, and what are all the file extensions? WAF or something, and EOT. Let's do it like this. And then if it's all those, then use loader URL. I'm just guessing here. Um, let's scroll up to where those errors were. Oh no, they were in here. So SVG, TTF, WAF, WAF2, and EOT. Can you remember all those? Because I already forget. WAF2, TTF, and SVG. Let's see if that works. Um, I don't know if it'll work. I have no idea. It worked. Sort of, I guess. Let's find it. So, oh, I'm indented. That's a great sign. 
my container's indented. That means it's being affected by Bootstrap. Fantastic. So I have uh, React working with Bootstrap, and I needed to do some crazy stuff to get the Bootstrap loaded with Webpack. Wasn't that crazy, but I'm done, and it's working. So from now on, I'm going to be building out the administration with React and Bootstrap. So thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.